You know, I'm just having te technical difficulties this week. It's going to be a w probably a week filled with them. Um, we won't call them problems. They're learning opportunities for growth. I still have to write my daily thoughts. It's like 5 o'clock in the evening. Um, anyway, this morning when we were broadcasting Monday with DecoArt, we were working on repainting this canvas and we had some halfway through. It did run over time, but at 11 o'clock, my devices, I guess, just decided we should be finished and they all just turned off. We had problems with Periscope. It was just an issue. And so I reset everything and we did sort of a take two and I finished the canvas, but I don't have that take two video footage. Um, so I do have the majority of the work, but the fine tuning you didn't get to see on here. Uh, sorry about that. And let's see, let's see if we can have that kind of straight. But this is what the finished piece looks like. I just kept painting. I added painty marks. I kept with my adding my colors, light ones, dark ones, and layering, creating an interesting cloudy, cloudy sky with the sunset and the water. And I really love the way it turned out. It's it's completely dry now, so I'm going to finish it with some Decopage Antique, which is a slightly off color. Uh, it's a little bit of a tan-ish color, transparent though. Um, and so I'm going to cover this with a coating of that and let it dry. And then when that's dry, then I'm going to put some wax on it. And it's going to give it this nice finish. When we do Wednesday with uh, Watercolor Wednesday, I will show you guys this before we get started. So sorry for any confusion. Technical difficulties? We will be continuing to repaint canvases and doing things like that uh, and doing these, you know, acrylic tutorials. So if there's something you guys want to see, let me know. Here's the footage that we do have, which again, we got most of this done. That last 40 minutes or so were just spent fine tuning and chatting really and discussing not, not wasting your paint. You know, if you still have wet paint on your palette when you're finished with something like this, scrape it off onto some painty paper, some junk mail, an old phone book pages, something. Don't waste it. All right, that's it for right now. I hope you enjoy the video. I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. You're going to miss that part too because it was in the second half that's missing. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. Hey guys, I'm just setting up. I literally just got home from the gym and Fritzy, aka my HD video camera, seems to be working. Oh wait, see. Let's turn my sound off because I don't need to hear myself talk. <laughs> Good morning everybody. Holy cow. Uh, I'm running behind. I'm sorry. Good morning. I think we're going to work on repainting this little canvas today. I think I'm going to use some of that. I'm very, very behind this morning. Ugh. We have our DecoArt paints. We're going to be using the DecoArt Traditions um, Artist Acrylics this morning. I get them out because like I said running behind hello oh Malaysia fabulous all right um I need my photo because I'm so very very behind there we go all right holy cow and let's see if we're live on Ustream yeah I do show myself as live be nice to be able to. Oh, Arkansas. Fabulous. Hello. So if I'm live on Ustream, why am I not getting a picture? <laughs> I don't know. Holy cow. <sighs> Equipment issues. It's my story of my life. Equipment issues. Ustream's trying to load. Let's see what happens. I know there's people over there watching. Well, at least one person. I won't say people. At least one. You see my desk here? Yay! <laughs> 
So I have Ustream and Periscope simulcasting at the same time. Um, those of you who don't follow me on social media don't know that my HD video camera, a.k.a. Fritzy, who I'm broadcasting with on Ustream, is having issues. <laughs> He's a Panasonic uh, V550 uh, video HD video camera. He's, you know, when it works, it's fabulous, but he started to have some focus issues and some other issues, and even though he's only two and a half years old, what we've discovered after much hair pulling and trying to get through to somebody at Panasonic is that I wore, basically I wore him out. <laughs> so um, I have new equipment coming. Um, the unfortunate part is Fritzy is so good at what he does do when he's working that I have to replace the one camera with two devices. <laughs> so, so anyway, hi! So uh, my weekend has just been consumed with stress over equipment issues, and I went to the gym to get a few steps in this morning, and so um, I'm a little behind. <laughs> so unless you guys have something different that you want to see, I think we're going to work on this. So this is a little canvas I did back in 2012. I actually did a pair of them. He's not very well done. I mean, you know, I was um, experimenting. You know, we all have stuff that we do that's, you know, not fabulous. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's just not, you know. So he's okay, but he's not fabulous. So um, I'm going to repaint him. I'm not going to cover it up with gesso. I'm going to leave it the way it is, and we're going to work on top of it. Um, I never throw a canvas away. And I just look at this as a, a beginning, a start. What you can see maybe is that there's a little bit of gold paint in here, which is cool. I forgot I used gold on here. I have this Cannon Beach, Oregon inspiration photo from our friend Brent Frazier, the photographer. If you want to buy one of his calendars or get some of his photo photography, you can go to Brent Frazier photo brentfraserphotography.com and... Um, get a link to his website. Also, if you go to my, um, if you go to, go to my website and you go to the Watercolor Wednesday page, the, there's a link to his website there. And you can request his current calendar. This calendar is 2013. I don't know if he has back copies. He might, you might ask him. Um, I haven't seen the 2016 calendar yet because it's at my husband's desk at work. <laughs> I keep asking him to get another one and bring it home. So we're going to do something inspired by this sunset image, I think, on this canvas using DecoArt paints. Um, I'm going to first put some, a layer of collage down. So I've got some of the DecoPage papers, and this is the one with the script on it. And if you guys have any questions, ask. I have Ustream up and working now. There's three viewers at Ustream. If you guys could all say hello in the chat um, so I can make sure that I can see you, that would be great. Um, let's see. I need some glue. Glue, glue, glue. We're going to use Deco Page. Um, that's antique. Let's get the other one. Yeah, let's get the clear one. So the Deco Page, um, Deco their Deco Page medium, which is Deco Page Americana Deco Page, comes in clear, but it also comes in, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I, I told you I'm just not prepared this morning. Holy cow! Um, sorry, there's there. <laughs> we have an answering machine now on our one and only landline, and I just heard somebody talking in the house. That freaked me out. This is their antique deco page medium, which I like as a finish on my paintings after it dries. Um, and then once this is dry, then I go over it with a little bit of wax to ensure that it's not sticky. Because um, sometimes these decoupage glues can dry a little sticky. Um, if you really want it to be a hard, non-stick surface, then you need to use a professional like artist wax like Dorland's, but make sure that you use gloves when you use it because there are some toxic chemicals in the Dorland's wax. For the collage part though, we're gonna just use the matte deco page. 
Um, and I want to put some text on here. So rather than writing, I'm going to use this deco page paper. I could write on here. That's going to freak me out, you guys, having that answer machine in the other room and hearing every now and then hearing voices. Like, that's all I need is to start hearing voices, seriously. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like the idea of putting it right there, maybe. Nope. I like it there. So that's where it's going to go. And I had a friend of mine over recently, and she was working on her decoupage and she was being very gentle with the glue and precise and I'm like just pour that shit on there <laughs> don't be so don't be so neat about it have some fun with the process she just looked at me and then started laughing she didn't know where to go with that <sighs> okay so for the moment Fritzy's working yay Fritzy and he's uh, letting us do our live simulcast but I'm getting an HD webcam in, and it should be in today's mail. So when we do Watercolor Wednesday, hopefully, we'll be using that, or we'll be at least trying to use that. We'll see how it works. So now I'm just going to get this paper on here, and I want to smooth it out. So I'm going to use my favorite art tool, my Dollar Store frosting, Betty Crocker Frosting Spur. This is from... Dollar Tree and the paper may get a little wrinkly and textured oh, I'm totally okay with that I just want it to be glued down I don't care if it's wrinkly don't forget about your edges hey so I hope you guys all had a great time over the weekend and you watched, if you watched the Super Bowl, that you enjoyed it. I didn't watch the Super Bowl. I was actually home alone for once. I'm not a big football fan. I know, that's a big sin, right? Hey, I can see all you guys over in Ustream. Yay! <laughs> I can see the chat. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, that always brightens my day when things work well. <laughs> All right, now I made my Happy Mail journal. Well, I, fin I didn't make it, I finished it. And I dealt with equipment issues and tried to figure out what to buy. I finally broke down and asked a friend of mine who's in the film business, hey, Oscar, what would you do? <laughs> he said, what's your budget, smart man? I said, well, it's only this much. He said, so get this one. <laughs> All right, so now... Looking at our inspiration photo, I want to start with some yellows. So I'm going to pull out Hansa Yellow. I'm going to pull out, let's set this aside for just a second. So these are the colors I'm going to pull out to use. Hansa Yellow, Indian Yellow. Um, I want to pull out some Aquamarine, but I don't know if that's really going to work for the photo. Prussian Blue will, though. Um, Quaquinone Violet. I'm going to need some white. And I have uh, maybe Dioxazine Purple. And we might need some neutrals. So I'm going to pull out some Raw Umber and some Carbon Black. I know how to mix colors, but... If you've been watching me for a while, you know that's not my favorite thing. Um, and this little palette, this is not going to be big enough. Let's get the bigger one. These uh, palettes that I use, um, and I use the same ones for watercolor or acrylic. I just, of course, wash them in between. These are just white plates from the Dollar Tree. Um, if you are a thrift store shopper, you could probably find them at Goodwill. Just make sure it's white so you can see the color of your paint. Or as white as you can get anyway. So I'm going to pour a little bit of each color out here. This is a good time to ask questions while I'm pouring paint. If you guys have any questions about painting with acrylic, either on canvas, on your journal pages, and, you know, there's no reason why you can't use your acrylic paints in conjunction with your watercolor paints or other mediums. We're mixed media artists, so, you know, it's fun to mix them up and use them all together. That sounded attractive, didn't it? 
first thing in the morning? <laughs> well, I guess not first thing in the morning for some of you. Ugh. That was messy. So in case you all were wondering, in case any of you are YouTubers or broadcasters or want to be, um, what I found in all my research this weekend is one of the best video HD video cameras um, for its price range, which is 200 or less, is the Canon Vixia R600. Um, if you want to do live streaming directly from your camera without lots of gizmos and gadgets, then the Panasonic cameras are great. Their customer service is horrible, just FYI. Okay, so back to our canvas. Um, and I'm going to need at least one baby wipe, so let's grab uh, one or two out of the box before we get started. Okay, there we go, we're ready, yay! I'm going to start with um, my larger filbert brush. Um, this is a Simply Simmons filbert number, I don't know, 10 maybe? I can't see it because it's covered with paint schmutz. Um, and this is a well-worn, well-loved brush. So yes, as you saw, I use it for glue and paint because it's just, it's almost past it. So it's not like it makes a big difference. <laughs> So I've got my inspiration photo right in front of me, and the first thing I want to do is kind of map out where my shapes are with my paint. Um, yellow, for the most part, is pretty transparent uh, color. So some of the other underpainting is going to show through, and I'm okay with that. And I'm going to switch between my two yellows. Yellow, yellow pigments tend to be on the transparent side. If you want them to be opaque, you need to um, add white to them. And I think I want to do something that's less realistic, more inspired by the photo than actually like copying the photo. That doesn't mean I don't want to get some of the shapes that I see in the same place, because I probably do. Good morning, Brandy. I see you coming on. And this is probably the kind of thing that we won't finish today, but I'll definitely work on and I'll talk, try to remember to talk you guys through um, the painting as I do it. So I'm going to take some of my darkest color without going with black, which is going to be, I'm good. Well, I'm frazzled today. I won't say I'm good. That's a lie. <laughs> I'm not good at lying. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm frazzled. But I think I have my equipment issues solved. Thank goodness. So I'm going to put in my horizon line. Remember when you put in something that's a strong focal point in your painting, like a horizon line, don't put it in the middle of the canvas. You know, remember your rule of thirds to have your focal point be in the upper or lower third or in the right or left third. If you put it smack in the middle, that's really boring. So there's some, um, you know, darkness in the, in the, in the ocean. So we're going to put that in with the Prussian blue and then I'm going to just get my finger damp with a baby wipe and just smear. I want this top part of this line to be fairly straight. Even if I'm doing something expressive, an expressive sunset, you still want some, um, I still want that line of de demarcation on there. 
at least right now I do. This is a very beginning stages, and like I said, we may not get this done today, but it would be fun to have you guys come through the process with me kind of live on camera of repainting a canvas. Yeah. Oh my God. Just, you know, <laughs> and it came unexpectedly, the equipment issues. Brandy's asking about the equipment issues. She said she sympathizes. For those of you on Ustream, um, just, you know, it comes out of the blue. All right. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some darkness here because there's some clouds. Yeah, well, I think we have, we may have a interesting solution to the whole live streaming thing, at least as far as Ustream is concerned. My husband, in all of his brilliance, said, well, what about an HD webcam? And me, of course, not really being in the know, said, do they make such a thing? And he just gave me one of those seriously dear looks <laughs> like really what are you thinking and uh of course they do back when i first bought my webcam they didn't but they do now um so i have one coming i'll let you guys know how it works it'll have to be on a long cable um to work um with my camera but you know if i can get it to work i'll you know that would be great i'll let you guys know so I'm just mapping out some dark patches. And then I'm smearing the paint while it's wet with my finger. Now remember with acrylic, you know, you aren't as concerned about um, how you layer the colors because you can put, you know, if you make something too dark, then it's not a big deal. You just let it dry, put something light over it. It's not a big deal. Um, and a painting like this is all about layers. So whether um, any of the original painting shows through or not at the end, it's just going to add more interest. So when you do acrylic paintings, it's all about layers of marks and texture, in my opinion. That's my opinion. All right, let's see. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. Let's go back down to the water and let's um, be inspired by the painting, but let's add some um, other colors in here. So, I, you know, I just can't resist adding aquamarine. It's just not in me not to add the aquamarine in. I may, I may end up covering it up later, but <laughs> it's just not in me. Remember when you're painting water scenes that whatever's above the water will be reflected in the water. And you saw me put some yellow down here, and I'll be bringing that back at some point because the reflections of the sunset would definitely be down there. Remember the most important thing, play. Just play and have fun. Experiment with your artwork. That's like the most important thing. Okay, let's add some white in here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of the Prussian blue in it to get just a lighter, cooler blue. Because this is a night scene and I'm thinking I like that aquamarine but my ocean's a little bit on the warm side. And don't treat any previous marks you've already made too preciously. You can always bring them back. Don't forget to paint the sides too. And I'm sorry I didn't give you guys enough notice to have something in your hands to do the same painting. I didn't honestly, with all the camera equipment issues I was having, I didn't have, I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> and it only came to me, I squeezed in a few minutes this morning at the gym to go get some steps in and that's, I was on the treadmill and went, aha, <laughs> that's what we should do. So anyway, <laughs> that's what we're doing. So now I'm going to keep going and I'm going to take some white with the, the, 
mixture I have had already on here and it's just going to make it lighter. You can replay and paint. And you know that I'm going to, um, one of the things I like about simulcasting is that it's really quick and easy for me to download the video footage from Ustream and then edit it just a teeny bit and stick it up on YouTube. So I will be doing that and by tonight at the latest, it should be up there. So I'm going to take my baby wipe and just blend this just a little bit. I'm barely touching it to the canvas. And I have some of these little canvases from, you know, just playing and experimenting or God, some from when I first started from like 2009 that are really bad. I just keep adding more layers on them. Okay, I want to let that dry a little bit, but that's a great start. Let's work on the sky a little bit. Wash our brush off. Let's see if I push that up a little bit. You guys can see it on um, Periscope. No, I use Kirkland Baby Wipes, um, generic um, Costco brand, what, or whatever is on sale. Bye bye birdie, exactly. So I'm gonna mix, mix some of my Prussian blue with some of my aquamarine. I like to start when I'm painting with acrylic from dark and work my way lighter. You're welcome, those are great questions. Keep asking them, I can answer those while I'm painting. And I'm going to add some of this dark here into the painting we're going to start building up our layers in our sky. Bye bye, birdie. Yeah, the alcohol free are nice. I, I do try to get the scent free. I have allergies and asthma, so I try to get the ones that are unscented because lots of the scents really drive me up the wall. Make me cough, hack, wheeze. It's not pretty. The alcohol ones have their uses though. Alcohol is really great about removing dried um, acrylic paint and that's, you know, that's a whole different look that you might like. You might try. I keep an alcohol um, pump thing near my desk here. And by pump thing I mean these. Back when I was a licensed dispensing optician we had these in the lab full of acetone and alcohol and things and this is a great little thing and you just push down on the top and alcohol comes up. I have it, that's what I have it in, I have rubbing alcohol. Um, use it in my watercolor and stuff like that. I got the little jar on Amazon, I don't remember what they're called before somebody even asked me. <laughs> So I'm just blending it out a little bit, that's nice. Okay, let's do this top edge. I think these deco art paints are a great value for the money. So if you're thinking about getting into acrylic painting and you wanna try, see if you can get your hands on some of these Traditions paints. They're a lot more affordable than some of the other artist paints. So I'm lightening up my blue that I used for my sky. And I'm going to work on a little piece of time. I love these colors too. I, well, I love blues. You all know that if you've been watching me a while. And again, when you're working from any photo, you know, even your own photo, painting from a photo for me is about 
painting the impression of the photo and not copying the photo exactly. If I want an exact copy, a realistic copy of that, that image on that photo, well, I'll just have my daughter, the photographer, take a photo for me. <laughs> so, um, you know, for me, this is just about painting the impression that I'm getting from the photo, which I think is more fun and more creative. So see what you can do with that and have some fun with it. And don't be afraid to, you know, like put some paint down and then get in here and smear it around with the baby wipe. And, you know, God, if it's the completely wrong color, if it's wet, you can just take the whole thing off. If it's dry, just let it dry and then go back over it again with some more paint at some point. Okay, let's start adding some fun colors to there. Stick with the same brush for now. I need a sip of coffee. So it's getting there. You can start to see a, a cloudy sky and an ocean. You're starting to get there. So now we're going to come back with, um, I need some more white. You know, I figured I hadn't done one of these acrylic painting over painting tutorials in a long time. Last time I did one was um, taped for YouTube. So I thought it was kind of way past time. I'm going to take some of my white I just poured out and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of my yellow. My lightest color yellow. This is the Hansa yellow, I think. Yeah, Hansa yellow. Okay, and so I'm going to... And I'm, I'm looking on my inspiration photo where the, like, sun rays are coming out through the clouds. Good morning, April. Okay, so then I'm going to get in here with my fingers. And a baby wipe. Yeah, that's better. I'll switch to the smaller filbert brush and I'm going to stick with the yellow for a minute here. Oh yay! Yeah, I'm glad you're able to catch some too. And that Fritzy's working and so, you know, this I don't know how long he's going to keep working. So what do you mean by professional artist? <laughs> Have I sold artwork to people? Yes. I used to be in a shop here in San Jose with my art and crafty things. They went out of business. I don't know about other places in the country, but in, at least here in San Jose, they don't sell well. Yes, this is what I do for a living. I'm a YouTuber and professional artist and teacher. It's what I do. I have lots of allergies and asthma and I'm not actually capable of doing anything else physically, so. Which is a silent blessing because I love doing what I do, so I should say unexpected blessing. So I'm just creating some reflections in the water. And then I'm going to come in here. I'm, I put some paint on there and then I'm going to come in here and just move it around with my baby wipe. I might leave, like with watercolor, I might leave some of the marks to suggest what I want them to. Now, because now we're we're leaving marks and we're making the colors darker. That's giving me, you know, here what I saw in this photo where you have this sort of burst of sunlight coming out in the photo, right? And that's we've got that burst on there now. So I'm going to take a little bit of this um, red violet color. I forget what color it was. Uh, Quadacridone Violet, and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of my darker yellow and just orange it up a little bit. Um, no. Not without switching the camera around, and if you're a troll, please stop, because I will block you. 
just go to another channel. This isn't the channel for you. All right, so now we're going to come in with our orangey color. And we're really looking at the inspiration photo. Okay. Blocked. Yeah, exactly, right? Go away, troll. Seriously, don't people have better things to do? <laughs> I don't understand people. I, I, you know, I used to just think it was me because that I was, you know, I always thought I was normal, but maybe everybody else was weird. Now I'm just thinking I'm weird. Need troll be gone spray. Exactly. You find some, Michelle, you let me know because I think I need some. Every time I come on one of the t two broadcasts, mostly Periscope. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's trolls. So I'm just working my way around the painting using the inspiration photo for an idea of where I, where the sun is reflecting. I don't know. I think they have they're sad people and have nothing better to do. So I'm where the sun is reflecting on the underneath of the clouds. It's really coming, you know, it's coming up and reflecting on the underneath side of these clouds. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, pathetic children, you need to get a life. I don't know why. It just doesn't make sense. And honestly, I'm just me. I'm, you know, a 52-year-old, you know, middle-aged <laughs> woman. I am not a success symbol by any stretch. Um, you know what? I don't want to tell you guys that live somewhere, you know, else where it's all, you know, icky weather. It's bright and sunny. <laughs> so I'm using, still using, I'm just, you know, I'm following the inspiration photo where the colors are. New Jersey, yay! One of these days I'm going to get out there to New Jersey, the East Coast. My husband keeps telling me he's going to take me. He's a New Yorker, don't you know? But I want to go to Carlo's Bakery, which means I need to go to the East Coast. I am using Deco Arts pro products. Let's switch. Yeah, I know. It's kind of cold out there right now, huh? Um, I'm using Deco Arts Traditions Acrylic Paint. Sorry! You're ma in Maine. See? I know. See? I know it's really bad some parts of the country. I'm sorry, you guys. So the one thing I'm going to do here is you see how this color, if you can see on camera, this is not completely mixed. I'm going to leave it that way. It'll give me interesting marks. And I'm going to keep following <clears throat> what I see in the photo. That paint I'm going to just kind of wipe off because that was in the wrong place. And I'm going to keep adding my paint colors per the photo in a similar fashion to what I see that going on in the photo. I'm going to lay some paint down, smear it around with my finger. Yes, neo colors work great. The question is, have you mixed neo colors with acrylic? The answer is yes. Um, neo colors work great with acrylic, and frequently, um, <coughs> I don't just use acrylic on a painting like this. And I would use neo, <coughs> excuse me, neo colors 
metallics, markers, pens. <clears throat> we do have some collage on here, but um, this is a deco art, you know, demo. So we'll use deco art products, but you could use anything. Now, the one thing that it's fun to add to the paintings um, that's a deco art product that I'm really loving are the deco art glass paint pens. I love them and they dry and they, some of the colors are sheer, some of the colors are opaque. Yeah, I almost never just use paint on anything. That's that's pretty rare. Um, when I do do it, it's usually because I'm doing a demo like this. Ah, uh, work. Okay, go to work. It's important to make money. I know I'm a starving artist. It's important to make money. <laughs> oh, thanks. And we're not even nearly done yet. We may not be done today. We may we may have to finish the next time. Okay, we're going to add some more white to that, and we're going to light it up again. Lighten it up, not light it up. Holy cow. And I may add a little bit of this bluish white in there, too. Starving professional artist. Yeah, well, you know. It's true. Thank goodness my husband has a good job or we wouldn't be able to eat or pay the mortgage. <laughs> That's usually what I tell people is if we had to rely on my income to pay bills, we'd be so in such big trouble. I will post this up on YouTube later. And like I said, don't be surprised if at the end of the video it's not <clears throat> finished. That won't surprise me in the least, and we will, I'll just leave it until we get on next time. <clears throat> now see how I have these kind of random marks here? I like those. And they're very suggestive of clouds. I want to, I'm not going to touch that. I'm going to leave it. I could wipe it away. My YouTube channel is the same as my name here on Periscope, Gina B. Aarons. So if you just, if you just search for that, you'll find me right away. You can also go to my website, which again is the same, under the same name. And all of my social media links, my online stores, ways you can support me in my art and my family from having to pay for my art supplies. <laughs> um, those are all on my website. My husband's threatened to make a public service announcement that for me to broadcast when I'm live like this or on YouTube with him dressed in rags, <laughs> asking you all to support me. Do you know how much my art supplies cost him. I, th I thought he was too funny. <laughs> I know, right? He was hilarious. He was, that was kind of funny. I was like, really? <laughs> he had this whole script planned out. So now that I like that what's going on with there, but now it's too yellow. <laughs> so let's go back to our blues. And I'm going to put some ultramarine in there. Which is more of a cool blue. Mix it a little bit with the Prussian blue. And I'll gray it up a little bit. Um, I just have to make sure I stick it in the right place. So 
So this is what I mean. So we lost some of our blue sort of suggestions of the cloudy shapes here, and that's okay. I'm going to bring them back by adding more blue on top of the yellow that I put. I'm not going to try to cover up the yellow that I put on here. I'm just adding another layer of interest and bringing back those shapes that we lost. And I'm just tapping the brush to the canvas. I'm not really, you know, I'm not brushing it on. I'm tapping it on and I'm blending some of the shapes, but I'm leaving some of them too. Welcome everybody, we're getting a bunch of new members suddenly, or new members, new viewers. If you have any questions about um, any of my work, of course, as was said already previously, you can go to um, my website. There's a bunch of stuff over there, but you can also join my Facebook group. We're just we're adding more and more layers of paint inspired by our sunset picture which I have off camera for those of you just joining the picture is off camera but you can go back to the periscope recording or later on to the YouTube when I get that loaded and you can um, watch and see the copy of the photo Okay, I'm going to leave that alone for a little bit. I, I have some purple here. Purple is a great, cool shadow color. Besides Payne's Gray, it's one of my favorites. Lost the sound. That can't be good. Is it you, Lisa? Did everybody lose the sound? Or is it just something on Lisa's end? So I'm just building up my layers, adding more shadows. We're painting over an old canvas of mine. And we're working on a sunset picture. And of course, I'm, I love to do skies. So right now I'm stuck on the sky. I need to stop and leave it alone in a minute, though. You can still see a little bit of the bird that was originally on here in the background. And that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Um, I don't think it's just you because somebody else just said they lost sound on Periscope. Sound is fine on Ustream. <laughs> Yay! That can't be good. No sound over on, on Periscope for those of you on Ustream. I'm not sure. Alright, I'm going to leave this alone right now. We're going to work down here. Hopefully they understood that over on uh, Periscope. I'm going to take 
um, some of one of my, I'm going to take this blue here that I have, I'm going to put some black in it. Hopefully they can go out and come back in and you guys can get the sound back. I don't know. <laughs> they thought I was in my quiet zone. No, I think it's Periscope. I haven't changed anything. The camera's like way up there, so. Thank you for going over to Periscope Scrap Chic. You can let them know. I haven't touched my camera, so, I mean, it's my telephone and it's up that way. So, I don't know. Tell them all to come over to Ustream. If you would. If Periscope's going to be a problem, they can come over to Ustream. It could be all the storms. Yeah, more of you are coming over to Ustream. I think that's probably a good idea if you're getting no sound on Periscope because I haven't changed anything, so I have no idea what's going on. I'll just keep painting and talking. The recording will be on YouTube later. I'm adding some of my purple to some of my blues. And I'm just making a dark color. Uh, I'm probably gonna, I think I'm going to add some brown to it. I'm just going on instinct and mixing something dark. Hey, Lisa, <coughs> over on Ustream. Does Periscope maybe do another update? Uh, I wonder. So I'm just, I'm working on my um, ocean. I'm letting the sky dry a little bit. When you're doing a wa any kind of a water scene, you want this kind of line here between the sky and the ocean to be pretty defined, generally. And I'm, you know, again, I'm looking at my inspiration photo and kind of getting a feel for where the dark patches were in the waves. And that's where I want to start, you know, I want to darken, work on the darks. Okay, and then I'm going to keep going darker for a little bit, which I did with the sky. There's no audio. There's no sound, and I don't know why there's no sound. Now I forgot what color I picked up. I think I picked up black, hopefully. Yeah, black. <laughs> I forgot what 
I'm doing. The sound is throwing me off. So I'm going to be very careful about where I put the black and how much I put. <clears throat> That's not the right color. Hey, Colleen. Hey, Lisa. <clears throat> if one of you is still logged into Periscope, if you could go over there and let everybody know that there's some audio issues, maybe they can switch over to Ustream. I know, Colleen, you d did once already, but we probably need to do it a couple more times. Okay, so we're going to let that dry a little bit. Let's go back up here. Um, let's mix up a really light blue, sky-ish blue. Let's do... I'm running out of room over here. Let's put it here. We're going to put a little bit of ultramarine and some white. And we're going to need some just plain white. Okay. This time, I don't think it's my equipment. I think I think it's the I think it's the uh, I think it's the app. I know I've been having equipment issues, but we're broadcasting on Periscope with my phone, and that hasn't been an issue, so I don't think it's my phone. Thank you, Colleen, for doing that. I appreciate it. Oh, see, now Periscope just crashed on my uh, iPad, the app that I was viewing with. That's why I think it's Periscope. Everybody's coming over to Ustream, which is fine. You saw me just dip my baby wipe into the paint, which I like to do. I don't always like to use a brush. And again, I'm not treating anything too precious. Um, Periscope is crashing on my iPad. I'm, I'm not even touching my iPad, so I'm not sure what's going on over there. Yeah, welcome everybody. Yeah, I think it's the app. My app crashed again on my iPad. It won't stay it won't stay open now. I'll keep broadcasting over there and maybe they can get the recording later, but I think if they want to see hear what I'm saying, they're going to have to wait wait for YouTube or they're going to have to switch to Ustream.
One of the good things about simulcasting is I can guarantee I'm not going to go off the air unexpectedly. Okay, let's go back to a brush. So we got some color on there and we lighten up our sky. And we're going to continue working on that. And I'm losing my yellow again, but I'm okay with that because I can always bring it back. Sometimes it's hard to know when to stop. But whenever you're, you're, you know, if you feel like you might be really happy with the way it looks, even if it ends up looking nothing like your inspiration photo, then stop. Because maybe that's, maybe that's, you know, maybe that's going to be good for you. Oh, good. I think that's a good thing that you're all leaving Periscope because I can tell you I'm not even touching my iPad except to turn Periscope back on because it keeps going off by itself. <clears throat> it's doing all kinds of not fun things. I'm also going to do this. Sometimes it's good to get a different perspective on your paintings. It crashed again. My The app keeps crashing. My water container. You know where this is from? I actually, I actually got this one at Michael's, but I have two of them. I found a second one at Safeway when I was grocery shopping. I happened to walk through the floral department, which I never do because the flowers usually make me wheeze. Um, and they had another one. It's um, meant for floral arrangements. And they had another one, so I actually have a spare now because I was worried I'd, you know, drop and break one of the containers or something. And I love it so much. So look in your, at you know, like at Michael's, I got it in the spring when they had the, all the spring home decor come in. So when that happens, look there, um, or look in your, you know, floral department at your grocery store. Three would be handy, and I've seen one with three, but the containers were smaller, and I like the big, giant containers. So that's a great question. The app crashed on my iPad again, so I'm going to just leave it now. I don't, I won't be able, well, I hate to do that, because if there's somebody over there and it starts working, asking questions, I won't know what they're saying. I don't know how to leave anything alone. There's only five people watching now, because everybody's coming over to Ustream. So now I'm just holding it up to see if I'm starting to get the effect that I want, and I am. I'm thinking that this whole dark patch right here needs to go. You're all probably going, wah! <laughs> it's glass. Yeah, the, these are glass and then with a wire basket. I, I would like three, but I would like three big ones like this. And that I haven't seen yet. Um, but I like this one. And you could just buy two of them and you could make two work.
So painting with a baby wipe is nice because it keeps your hands clean. For obvious reasons, it's nice. But also because you can really smear the paint around and get smudgy marks that you just can't get with a paintbrush. See, I like this like ripply texture we've got going on here. And I lied, I might just stay on and finish this if you guys are up for watching. Because now that I've started, it's, you know, it's a cathartic process and I've had such a stressful weekend. It's fun to just sit and just paint. At least while the camera, Fritzy's decided to cooperate, so we might as well catch him on his good day. Now again, we're bringing back out the blues, but we're losing some of the yellows. I'm okay with that. So we're not losing all of them, but we'll, we'll bring them back. You can still see some of the writing right here from the, um, the collage paper. And you can see a little bit of the bird's head right there, which I think I'm going to try and save. Now, sometimes if I'm going to scrub hard on my canvas when I'm doing that, I'll put a book underneath of it. I kind of like that. All right, let's go in with a small brush. To yellow and let's mix our two yellows together I think at this point and I think I want to pre-mix some orange and I'm just I'm just at this point I'm just using the colors that are on my palette and the nice thing about using this Kodachrodone violet which is um, almost a magenta is you get this kind of purpley warm orange color which is that's what I want for this painting. Let's see. I'm going to, before I touch the paint to canvas. Yeah, the app crashed again, by the way, FYI. Um, where is my clay tool? Uh, did I wash it? Hold on, I need my little brush. So you could use this. Or you could use one of these. This is a clay tool. Now this is not a deco art product. This is a low Cornell product, but I love it. So I'm going to put some of this orangey color here and then I'm going to do this. You could do it with any kind of brush if you have like an old toothbrush or Periscope just keeps crashing at this point, so I don't know. Shows me still on the air, but I, I don't know. It just keeps crashing. The app. Not my, my, not my system, I'm still on the air, but I don't know.
So then I'm going to come in here with the light yellow. And basically do the same thing. I can't even get Periscope to stay open, you guys. I keep trying. It keeps closing. switch to a really tiny brush. <clears throat> yep, there it goes. It crashed again. This is just a small round. I think this is a folk art brush. It's probably a bit past it too. Most of, well, not most. Some of my brushes are, but they're my favorites. So I'm kind of following along with the suggestions in what's happened in my my painting inspired by our Brent Fraser photograph and making what are already the lighter spots where our sun is kind of coming through the clouds, making them even lighter with this lighter yellow color. <clears throat> and this time I'm not doing so much to get rid of our brush marks. I'm going to leave them. I like them. Okay. Now I need some more. I keep running out of blue. <laughs> Go figure. All right. So I want to come in with the small filbert first. And I'm going to take some of the ultramarine and mix it with some of the Prussian blue. Just carefully. For the most part, I'm not going to wipe the marks away. I may occasionally with my just with my finger, not with the baby wipe, like we did with the yellow, the light yellow colors. <clears throat> now I'm still I still have the photo out for guidance, but <clears throat> I'm really looking at the spots in our painting that happened on their own where it's darker. Oh, 
let me know on Ustream if you guys have any questions since Periscope is not working. And if you guys can get in Periscope, which won't even stay open on my iPad now, um, you can let everybody know over there. I'm still broadcasting, but um, they probably can't he hear me and it just does nothing but crash. So I don't know. No, I don't want to neglect these other areas up here. But one thing I do want to do is I want to take some of um, one of my colors and I'm going to, I think, start with this that's on my palette. <clears throat> and I want to, I have to turn these into more cloud shapes. Okay, and then take a little bit of the red color Back to the blue. So clouds, generally speaking, are really about layers of marks. And this is just some pure white. And before I get too far with that, I'm going to smudge it in with my fingers. <clears throat> 